You're an atheist. I'm asking you how to explain hey, it. Hey, hey, Goofus, you're an yeah, atheist. I'm asking I don't, you. I'm I don't asking expect you, you to say it. I'm ask. I'm asking you. Jump yeah, to the moon. Jump to the moon. Or, jump to the moon, or I'm sending you to hell. Well, yeah. interesting question is, what would count as an excuse, right? I can't imagine a better excuse. What could be yeah, better what than, would, than that? Well, what than, on his totally view? I'm trying to understand. Yeah. Like, when he says um, well, you have no excuse, what would good, what would question. actually count as an excuse? That, that's a good right. question, Jack. What would count as an excuse to me was that God didn't give you enough information. That would be. Oh, that well, would we've be been an we've been over that, and you don't you can't actually substantiate that he didn't give us. No, but that's the claim. But, that, but that's the, no. It's not an argument. It's not an argument about whether. No, I mean, come on. Right. Why? Why do we even play this game? Like John likes to say that that we are irrational to reject God, but he knows this is so hilarious. He knows that in order to do that, he'd have to show how it is that we're in possession of an inference that would justify belief in God, and you guys know what that is, right? That's giving an argument yeah. for the existence but of Jack, God, which John, of course, never does, because he doesn't have such an argument. But Jack, you asked a very right. simple so question. So when he says that, he's just he's just being dishonest. Jack, you asked a very simple question. What would constitute an excuse? I just told you that yeah, God it turns did out not we have that excuse. So it's not it a turns out that God on your did view, did not, look, no, no, that would it turns be an out, excuse. yeah, and it turns out excuse. on your, and it turns out on your view that we do have an excuse, because there's no good argument for the existence of God, as you understand perfectly but, well. But I was talking to someone so you're earlier. Just, you're, so you're just contradicting yourself. But Jack, Jack, I was just talking to someone earlier. I think it was uh, 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 Joshua, right? In a sense that that excuse has nothing to do with things outside oneself, uh, the failure, neglect, the inability of, of a person like myself to provide an argument. And We're in possession of the information. Yeah, your yeah, claim is uh, where uh, yeah. your your claim is we would be an excuse if we were not in possession of the information that would allow us to rationally conclude that God exists. That would be, of course, that's correct. That's we aren't. Correct. Yeah, but of course, as you have basically conceded, we aren't in possession of that information. No, that's because not what I did. if it was the case that we if it was the case that we had that information, then we would all know an inference, right? that would show that it's more rational to believe in God than not, right? But we Some don't, inference, so yeah, and so when, when you ask John, well, what's the argument, what's the inference that establishes that the existence of God is more likely than not, guess what? He doesn't have an argument. So you're just, you're just making stuff well, up. I don't know why you go through the motions so, of this silly game. It's yeah, so, crazy. It's all, so once again, once again, it seems like it seems like well, you theists have not uh, provided an argument for God, therefore I have justification. I think Venus said yeah. that, was, that was his word, and well, I don't, I cannot stress it enough that that uh, Matt Adams is here. He talks about this far more than I do. He doesn't his have an inference either. Such, we asked him earlier. But if, no, but his argument is such, and I and I do agree with that's exactly what the scripture says is that God himself has made it plain to you and because God no John we went over that you, yeah and so I'm not saying plain not to saying us that there's a generic that, creator wait, hang, on, hang on hang on I'm not saying Jack that you have to agree with that claim I am saying that is the claim and you don't even agree have with no it. excuse no John we, I told you earlier we could Doesn't grant matter. that we could grant that claim that's not enough we need Christ and you admitted that the message of Christ is foolishness to us so we could just grant we we're suppressing the truth of some generic creator right. God. No, who cares? So who cares? We're all lying about being okay, atheists. Now, now it doesn't matter. But Charles, now you're talking about two different things. I already went through what the excuse is representing, right? It's talking about uh, general revelation. That's what it's talking about. Not special. It's not saying you have no excuse for special revelation. That's not what. That's so not we. So you're context. saying we have no, no excuse. No, no. Yeah, now the other thing is also about the foolishness. It sounded right? like there was the an excuse of his lack of information. Just, but you said, you said that there was an excuse for general revelation. revelation. Wait, but John, we don't care whether we're suppressing the truth of a generic God. We want to know the specific God, the triune God, the God that includes Christ. 
Because you're saying we have general revelation, and all we know from the general revelation is we're suppressing the truth of creator of a creator God. But you also have said that the message of Christ, the message of the cross, is foolishness to us, and it will be until we get the Holy See, Spirit. Well, what it's so that's our excuse. Let me, let me just, let me, there's a common misconception about Romans 1 that, that seems to imply that you're just rejecting theism. That's not what it's saying at all. That well, no, that's like, my argument, words, John. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is there are people who have rejected the truth and unrighteousness and so you're going to stay here for a few a minutes? Therefore, I'm just going to go down and look downstairs and I'll come and say goodbye. They have become a don't, monotheist don't in leave. terms of believe, uh, rejecting Call the me one in tell me you're leaving. I... And so what I, what, every time you keep saying general God, uh, you seem to think that sure. it's talking about classical God of theism, general theism. No, it's not talking about that. It's talking about the creator God. And even right, and but all you, we know. But let me let me finish. Let me just finish. Once you have suppressed the truth, you can still be a monotheist. That's my whole Baha'i. That I, John, you're making my point. Look, yeah. we know. So deep, I'm just granting. Deep down, we secretly know that your God is real. Okay, and we're all pretending to be atheists for some godforsaken reason, right? So we lack that sin, right? But that doesn't matter to us. To us, the issue is accepting Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, which you have already conceded that that is foolishness to us until we receive the Holy Spirit. So that's our excuse. That's we cannot have the understanding of the secondary part we need. We don't just need to know that Yahweh exists. We need to know about Christ also. That's the excuse. Yeah, and that's what you're claiming, right? And but, but the, Correct. The, that's the claim. But Scripture says... And I'm using on, the Scripture, and I'm... Yeah, no, no. On Scripture, it says that every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Surely as I live, saith the Lord, right? And so what, what I am So we're all getting into heaven? Even, that's, no, no, no. That's even, even though, even though that you're claiming right now and giving reasons why you believe you have an excuse... What scripture says is, on that day that you stand in judgment, you will have no excuse. No, it doesn't you, say that. It you doesn't yourself, say, it doesn't say yourself, the day of judgment. It doesn't say no on the day of judgment. It does not. May I, be too late, my goodness. Then. There will be no one standing uh, in front of the beam of seat of Christ and even uttering the words, I have an excuse. Yeah, you're adding None. that to scripture. You're adding that to scripture. That scripture doesn't say that. That's, that's how you know universalism is true, because there is a time every knee will bow. It doesn't say when. Yeah, it, do, it does say um, uh, with respects to um, like the beam of cedar when when all flesh will be raised. But when I bow be when I bow before Christ in heaven, if I died as an atheist, I'm still going to get sent to hell afterwards, right? That is also correct. Okay, so oh, I still have an excuse. Right, so I still have an excuse then. Which is while I was alive on this earth, I never received the Holy Spirit and there was nothing I could do about it. And I didn't have the knowledge. I suppressed the truth of the knowledge that Yahweh existed, but which wasn't enough. I didn't have the knowledge of the divinity of Christ and that he died for me. So I, I'll say it this way, okay? Because it appeared as foolishness to me. Right. And I, right. I'll say it this way, right? You can fantasize all day long that you will be in eternal conscious torment going like, I have an excuse, I have an excuse, right? But the what? Bible says quite the opposite. <laughs> yeah, but it's actually, right? it's that an actual you fact yourself, that you have an excuse. You it's an actual fact. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. That you have let never me just, had an excuse. Let me just explain to Bina how John is dodging. There you go. So, so what John wants to say is, right, that atheism is irrational because we're all in possession of the knowledge, right, that God exists, right? And by knowledge, he means something like some justification for that belief, right? Um, in fact, justification that's greater than any justification uh, for atheism, right? Um, now, you understand, right, that that is going to mean that there's an inference um, that we're all in possession of, um, such that, and, and certainly believers are possession of it in the most robust sense, because 
it's not a suppressed belief in their case, right? Um, there's an inference or set of inferences which justify that the existence of God is more likely true than not, right? And as you but know, it, as you know, Bina, he doesn't have an inference like that, right? I don't know why you bring that up, Jack. So yeah. when he says, so when he says, we have no excuse where for him, what an excuse would be is that we're not in possession of the knowledge, right? He's just contradicting himself. I don't know why. Because he knows perfectly well, he knows perfectly well he can't provide the inference that establishes the existence of God, right? And therefore, it's not the case that we have, we're in possession of what would justify that belief, right? And therefore, that we lack an excuse. Do you understand? You understand the dialectic? Yeah, no, I'm very I'm very right? Yeah, no, that's and, totally and so so yeah. all this stuff that he says, right, when he raises his voice, you know, you guys you know, I, I have an excuse and all this stuff, right? That's just pure posturing. Yeah, no, right? I'd like to respond to what you're saying. You know, if you I know may. perfectly oh well, goodness. Bina. You know perfectly well, Bina, that he doesn't have any inference like You've that. You've said that about seven times, right? And that's Jack. what he's dodging. And so all this stuff, all this stuff is like just an elaborate smoke screen for him to hide the fact that he can't produce that inference. Right. That's like eight times you mentioned is that. Is Tom here? No, Would no, you say like he's suppressing the truth in unrighteousness? Tom, you can Tom? provide the inference. May, may yeah, I'm here. Yeah, so you, you okay. understand what I'm saying, right? Was we asked <laughs> right. him, what would, count, what would count as an excuse, right? Right. And he said, I just told you. if we were, I don't know why you keep talking, John, you'll get your turn. I hope so. Um, yeah, so, so just keep, stop talking until I'm done. So he, we asked him what would count as an excuse, right? And he said, if you, if you weren't in possession of the information required. Um, but he's saying we can't be. No, no, I, I, asked him, I asked him, I asked him what would count as an excuse. And he said, yeah, if what would count as, a, as an excuse is if you weren't in possession. Now, That's the reason correct. why he says possession of the information, and the reason why he says that is because, of course, his claim is that we're in possession of that information. That's also we're right. all in possession of that information. And therefore, right? you have Now, no of course, excuse. you recall, Tom, you recall, Tom, that when I asked him about this, right, which is basically the claim that we all know that God exists, right, I said... I, I got him to clarify that by no, he means a justified belief, right? And so then the question was, well, what is the justified, what, because he wants to claim, as you recall, that we're irrational to reject the existence of God. Right. So may, may I respond now? And so I'll for it brief. to be irrational, right? Hang on, it's not done yet, be, just wait. For it to be irrational, right, it has to be the case that we have a justified belief in the existence of God. Now, you'll recall, then, that that put him in a corner because his claim, of course, is that he doesn't argue for the existence of God, right? And so for him to demonstrate that, in fact, we do have a justified belief would be for him to right, show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He would have to and violate... So, Right. Arguing for God. And so, in fact, all this stuff, right, is just an elaborate smokescreen. You know, all of him raising his voice, not answering questions, talking incessantly, You're trying to interrupt me, today. interrupting everybody else. What he's doing right now is just a way for him to dodge the fact that he has no justification whatsoever like 10 times for said the that. claim, for the claim that we are not in possession of an excuse. Now, may I respond? Because for that to be the case. For that to be the case, there'd have to be a good inference or set of inferences that show that God's existence is more likely than not. And of course, he doesn't have those. Okay, well, I thought the Muslims so that's what, were bad. That's why I, I think the important thing to do here is just keep is just not let him dodge that question. Get him, turn on the recorder, and get him to say, "Yeah, I can't produce that inference." Okay, so now may I respond now? Now, with respect, I'm surprised. You understand, Tom? I, I'm so yeah. surprised. I'm so surprised, Jack, that you're mentioning justification. Literally, I counted practically ten times. We already had this discussion, Jack, and this is intuitive. It's innate. That that which is innate, intrinsic, intuitive, 
has no justification. We already discussed this, right? And so you want me to provide justification uh, for an inference. These are not inferential. We already discussed this, that God has made it plain to you, Jack, right? And he has made it plain to all atheists all around the world that it is plain. Now, with regard to justification, we did also discuss that, but it's not because of something that I provide. The reason there's justification for this knowledge that we have, a justified true belief that we discuss, is what in Scripture it talks about, but manifest by the things that are made. Now, it is a self-evident proposition that God exists, yet the justification that we discuss is provided by the flowers, by the trees. I think. I mean, I mean, like I, I, I'm just kind of saying that facetiously because a lot of Christians use these things like that go with the flowers and this and that but there's 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 truth in that in a sense that this is the evidence uh that 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 we can infer a creator god and there is no excuse and again this yeah. is the evidence no, wait, wait, of the wait, father wait 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 i just want to address that yeah so now you see this is john being dishonest again tom because of course when he said it was self-evident we asked him what that meant right and he said something that would be irrational to deny. Do you recall that, Tom? Yeah. We asked him what it meant. It said it would be irrational, something that would be irrational to deny. So then we asked him, the then we <laughs> in, asked the him in virtue of what would it be irrational if not that we were in possession of some inference, right, that favored the truth of that proposition as opposed to any proposition contradictory with it, right? And that was when he got stuck, because he realized he couldn't show how it was irrational without that inference, because to produce that inference would violate, you know, his, well, it would violate, you know, his commitment that he doesn't give arguments, but of course we all know the reason why he doesn't give arguments is because that would put him on territory where he could lose, right? right. So it this is just like a dodge. He's equivocating between uh, something being self-evident and something seeming to be the case. Yeah, but we asked right? so him. He's we like, asked it's, him a, what it's innate. Oh, it's, it's we seems... asked him. No, no. But the point is, no, I, no. I addressed him. Oh, I don't, I don't think just just him. Him. he doesn't know I that. Asked him. I, no, no. I asked him. Wait a minute. I don't know what self-evident means. What does that mean? And he said yeah, something would be irrational to, do, yeah. to deny, right? Now, so just, when you say he, he something is irrational, yeah, when you say something is irrational to deny, what does that mean other than there's right, an argument yeah it's contrary right contrary yeah. to reason which is to say that there's yeah. some inference which favors it yeah. right which is stronger than the inferences yeah, th against it that's why i say he's equivocating right? between that and it just seems to him that there's a god right in the absence of any Oof. defeater it seemings can be justifications mm. But it also yeah, seems to me like yeah, it's it is, it is, it is, it is. But it's also, it likewise god, seems to me that there isn't a god, and I haven't seen any yeah, defeaters yeah, yeah. for that but one. That, we don't have to. Yeah, no, so. but we're, no, no, we're not talking about this here. Nobody. I, I just don't know what his difference is between. I don't even I just don't know what his distinction is between that and it seems to me that there's a god. Yeah, but the key point is. What's the difference? Yeah, but that's that's just. That's going to be irrelevant because he's not irrelevant. appealing to that. It is irrelevant. So the key point is that for him to claim that it's irrational, right, on yeah, his own yeah. view, yeah. has to mean that there's an inference. But of course, he doesn't have that inference. No. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to do right by him, and at best, it sounds like he's saying, "Oh, it seems like there is a God." I just don't know what the difference is. God, if it's not that it's doing, irrational man. to believe it. I don't know why you keep talking about seeming. <laughs> It's just ridiculous that you insist upon inserting that. Well, I'm trying to help you because claiming that self-evident means didn't it's irrational to believe nor, it nor is just, yeah, but I see me. someone drowning and I want to help them. It's just innate to me. Well, I think, I think, I think <laughs> you guys are all drowning. Anyone can make those things. <laughs> gurgle, oh, gurgle. David, this is just you being dishonest, John. This is just you being dishonest because you no, don't have an answer Jack, to this objection. Jack, yeah. You literally said okay. something like worse than you, you platform here, you make speeches repetitive. Ten times you talked about justification over and over and over and over again as if as if it's somehow even relevant to the conversation. Sound trigger, John. Trigger right in now? terms of 
in terms of what's intuitive, yeah, we've it's heard not this relevant. objection again. Inference is and not over. relevant, right? Inferences are not relevant to in, intuition. Uh, that which is innate, intrinsic, that which has been obviously made and plain by God Himself and the information that He provided, and is manifest by the things that are made. And that is the justification that everyone has in knowing uh, that God exists. Yeah, I, I wonder. I wonder let's if Christians wait, 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 wait. Let's go through. Let's go through it step by step, John. Yeah. Okay. So when you say self-evident, what does that mean? Obvious, plain. Uh, um, what, what, uh, doesn't need proof, demonstration, explanation, reason, that kind of a thing. Okay. Now, is it the case that it's irrational to deny self-evident truth? Yeah, uh, and that was my position, that uh, that it's irrational to deny w what is self-evidently true. Right. So now the question is, in virtue of what is it irrational to deny a self-evident truth? Right. And I just gave some examples, you know, like... Uh, like I'm not asking for examples. You're not exact... I mean, I, I don't know how, like... As far as like a formal argument of philosophically, you already know I'm a philosophical dunce, and so all I can do is provide an example. And that's the best I can offer if you don't know yeah, what to look, hear. Yeah, but look, that's okay. Look, let's look at an example. You don't want to hear an example, right. Jack? Just Let, to, let's just look to at hear. an example. There's an article on Lubitsch. Um, let's look at an example. So tell tell me something that you think it would be irrational to deny. Yeah. If, if you and I, Something that you if think you is self-evident. If you and I, Jack, were walking along Long Island or something, and we see a sandcastle in the Atlantic Ocean right there, and I tell you, Jack, uh, that was designed, and you said, uh, no, it was not. I, right, I think now, you would be. I, I would consider you be, being irrational to think that it was not designed. Right. Now, would that not be in virtue of some inference? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I think the idea is the reason why it's irrational is because all the examples we know of of things like that are produced by um, agents, that we know that many agents have the disposition or the desire to produce objects of that kind. We don't know of a natural process, right, that produces things like that, and so on, right? So that's all. So that uh, that almost seems like some Muslim argument of contingency, as far as no, uh, it's not a contingency argument. All... No, it's no, not I mean, a contingency it's, argument. It's, it's a design kind of like an inductive, right? It's kind of like an inductive argument, right? Yeah, it's an it's a, it's an inductive and abductive inference, right? So the point is, you can appeal to an inference to show why to deny it would be irrational, right? I mean, could, if it's not for that, then I don't see I don't see why could, it would be irrational to deny couldn't it. Couldn't a theist make a, a very similar argument? I've never seen anything that doesn't didn't have a cause. Yeah, well, maybe or maybe not. I don't think so. But the point is that's not going to be relevant, right? If in fact your claim is that the reason why it's irrational to deny it has nothing to do with the fact that there's powerful inferential support in favor of it, right? So my question to you is, can you cite an example of something that is irrational to deny, right, which isn't ir irrational in virtue of the fact that there's powerful inferential support in favor of it as opposed to against it? I mean, as far as, far as, as, far as what I'm here for, Jack, is to say that this is what Scripture you hear this, Tom? Uh, asserts. Tom, you hear this? I, I acknowledge, I acknowledge, I acknowledge I that, dodging. That, that the Bible is the claim, right? I yeah, acknowledge so what's the that, answer to my question? Foremost. That was all very, and, that was all, that was all very, so all, very nice. All Thank I'm you saying for is informing us of all that. What's the answer right, to the then, question now? And then, so, so you can ask the claim. You think I'm going to, you think I'm going to drop the, the question, John? Well, I'm just, you don't I'm, know I'm me just, very well listen. if you think I'm going to drop the well, question. I, I, yeah, I thought you knew uh, me I better do. than that. I do. So you I just want to delay, gonna, you just want to delay it answering it? You're just going to delay? Just let me know when you're ready to answer the question. 
You can talk about no, whatever you want, not, what you had for breakfast, you know, what you're going to do tomorrow, you know, what your favorite right. movie is, and then just let me know when to you're done honest, with all that and answer the question. Yeah. To be honest, Jack, I'm not interested in answering the question. Oh, is that tapping um, out? I have no idea. Uh, is about, that tapping uh, out, Tom? I, Am I wrong? About, Does that sound about, like <laughs> tapping out? I think he's done. I think he's, I think yeah. he's tapping yeah. out. Well, it sounds like he's tapping out. Oh, oh wow, Don. Yeah. I thought you were the last that. man standing. <laughs> As far as far as as far as what I'm here for, I thought you were the last man to, standing. Is to tell you that I'm not the claimant here. Uh, the Bible is the claimant. You can ask the Bible any questions you want. <laughs> Take it out I'm with the Bible. Take it out with the philosophers. The bar- yeah. But the Bible Take it out with Jesus. Jesus. It will sound hopefully like foolishness to me. I think you know, is, Tom. Is, I think is accurate to what Scripture says. I think I should get a John Lee T-shirt. You know, and I think uh, John Lee should get um, another type of T-shirt. Are you, are you familiar with the T-shirt brand? I'm, I'm sure you are, John. The brand is called Tap Out. Have you heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> you heard of that yeah, brand, John? I mean, I mean, I'll tell you what. Is that a yeah, you've heard of it, or was it a yeah, like as, a verbal as tick? Long, as long as I've been dealing with atheists, Whatever, uh, here whatever we discussion, go. they're here always going to... Yeah, here we go with the sniveling. Yeah, <laughs> the cope. Tap, tap. This is, where is the, no, yeah. hang on. Where, where is it's the, the evidence? Cope, the cope portion of our discussion. <laughs> you, you, where is the evidence might. for God? You, you where is the evidence no for God? No one cares about where this. Is the arguments for God? And always, even, even, even Matt Dillon, yeah. I call him, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so now we're going to I'm war not, stories. Yeah, yeah. So war stories now. Because he tapped <laughs> up. That's fine. You tapped um, up. Shut up. What about this guy, um, Matthew? Yeah, yeah. Down I would, bottom right. Um, yeah, yeah. I would yeah, like why to... Why don't you... Yeah. Go ahead, Matthew. I don't want to hear what yeah. you have to say. Yeah, fine, fine. Uh, see, I have been listening to a few of the arguments that have been raised all right, and I have a few questions to you guys as well. Like, Somebody was uh, talking about the existence of God. And see, I have been talking to atheists for such a long time, maybe something like one year now, and in clubhouse. And almost all of them take up that premise uh, that the evidence of absence of evidence is the evidence for absence. So what what is your take on this? I would like to know. And then I would like to oh. introduce... I thought you had yeah. something to say about what we were talking about. This seems kind of random. Okay. Yeah, you listening okay, to yeah, the discussion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that I would like to ask you as well. Yeah. Well, for example, you guys were uh, telling that God might have sequential thoughts if he is... If, if he has free will. That was the argument that was raised at some point in time. So... I think the definition of God, if he is actually a God, he should be above that element of time. In universe itself, time is an arbitrary element. So you cannot rely upon time to map things with God. So uh, that's what I think. So do you want to add something to that? Huh? Yeah, I just don't know what it means for something to exist, not... And that doesn't imply some sort of spatio-temporal location. I mean, unless it's like, you know, some abstract object or something. Yeah, you're talking about material existence, though, right? Uh, wait a minute, John. I thought you they tapped out. I actually didn't tap out. He's not dead, dead yet. I did. But anyway. Why you said you didn't want to answer the question? Stop suppressing the truth. Yeah, it can, it can I didn't exactly, exactly say I didn't want to answer the question, but anyway. Yeah. You know what's the funny John part about the... it, Tom, right, is that he wants to say, if he, he wants to say we're in possession of this knowledge, right? That's what and the so Bible that must says, mean yeah. that we're in possession, that must mean we're in possession of the justification, right? And see, the thing is, Correct. an atheist might be able to get away with not being able to cite the justification because they've suppressed the belief, right? But presumably somebody but he who's, hasn't. <laughs> who's already received God's grace, right? It must be plain as day what that justification is, right? That's what makes it so ironic. Reve- revelation. Can't, revelation. He can't answer the question. Revelation. Yeah, but you haven't shown. I just answered you. Yeah, but revelation is just repeating the claim. You, you're, right? Well, your, your claim is, your claim is that it's that when you say we're in possession, yeah, when, yeah, that's just repeating the claim. Not because oh, of so the it's not a justified belief. 
No, I didn't say that. What I what oh, you're, so it you're is a saying, justified belief. No, no, the assumption that you make is that it's plain as day to me because of some inferential justification. That's your assumption, Jack. What I'm telling you is that it's plain as I didn't day. I would agree with that. No, no, I will say that it's plain as day to me as I stand before you here, but but primarily because of the special revelation by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but the question is, is it a justified belief? And the justification, right, ha- is <laughs> is uh, something aside from that, right? That's Wait, it I'm is saying. a justified it's... belief? Yes, we already had that discussion, Jack. Yeah, and oh. so then the but, question is, what's the justification? And so, so we already discussed it as far as like acquaintance knowledge, right? But you ask, you ask me, is it also uh, uh, understood in terms of JTB, right? And that, and that's where that's where you're on right now, in, in terms of, well, how is it justified? And as far as as far as my understanding of Romans one, uh, when it talks about by the things that are made, the stars, the the trees, the, the you know the flowers, whatever, I think that's 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 where the justification comes in. Yeah, but when you brought up those examples, right, that's when I said, that's when you, when I asked you, that's when you brought up the, the sandcastle. Right, right, right. And so, but the reason why the sandcastle example works is because there's powerful in, inferential support for the design inference. Yeah, I mean, without, without right, a There is a design inference there, right? There is an actual inference there, so that's that's something that's inferentially justified. I, I think, right? yeah, I think. It's... And your claim, mm-hmm. if your claim is that it, the reason why it's irrational to deny self-evident things is because of the powerful inferential support, right? Then you can't say there's no argument that shows that the existence of God is more likely than not. Right. Well, there are arguments, Jack. Uh, then the arguments yeah. are teleological in nature. I think Romans one is a teleological. Yeah. So lay uh, out the argument. Well, I'm just I'm just saying it's teleological. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but I don't see how there is a good design inference from what we observe to the existence of God. Yeah, there's a lot of design, intelligent design <laughs> arguments, the fine tuning arguments. Yeah, there maybe, are. A maybe, lot of maybe, arguments. maybe, maybe, maybe you can start with Angelo. He's Wait, are you saying that the justification that Jack's asking for is teleological? I think, I think, as far as Romans one is concerned, specifically, I think it's it, it is it is a teleological teleological statement. Sure. Yeah. So, what's the good design argument for the existence of God? I'm just saying. Because I don't see how it works in the Sandcastle case. Well, I, I, mean, I don't see how it works. It would work in the same way that the Sandcastle case works. Not, not right? a great analogy because I mean we have we have information of other humans designing sandcastles and so forth and yeah, that, exactly. Yeah, sandcastles yeah, be a problem. aren't part of the natural world, whereas yeah, the natural so world is the natural world. That's going to be a yeah. problem. It's uh, similar to Danny's question, you might recall. You know. Like, you need you an mean, example of something Turek? that's undesigned. Yeah, Frank yeah, Turek. I actually, Frank had a, Turek. I actually had a separate answer to that, by the way, but that's a whole oh, different... Yeah. Similar, mm-hmm. but different discussion. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I mentioned something that it would... Well, that that uh, evidence of... That evidence would be um, uh, something that's not in the natural universe, and it would have to require some sort of imagination... Uh, a world without uh, order, uh, for one, and, and things like that. And that would be evidence of no God, uh, the lack of order kind of a thing. No, but we don't observe that. We don't. The, the, the reason we don't observe it is because we believe everything is orderly because a God exists. No, evidence, no, no, no. Uh, evidence so you're for no God would you're be supposed to nothing infer in this that. natural universe. No, no, no. You're supposed to infer from things that have hallmarks of design to a designer, right? But there needs to be something that you can observe, right, that doesn't bear hallmarks of design. 
You know, once again, it would have to be uh, conceptual uh, rather than actual. I I don't know what you mean by conceptual. Look, if you if you spattered paint, if you threw if if you threw paint right on a canvas, would that be ordered? Um. Yeah, it would, in a sense that uh, that uh, somebody cognizantly uh, threw that on there, and you could see the intentionality <laughs> there. So what would it look right? like if it weren't ordered? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It, what, what it would require, right, is, once again, a conception of something that's not in no, the I'm world. asking you what it would look like if it weren't ordered, because the point there's, is there's nothing, we need to be nothing. able... We need to be able to, to to know what it looks like for something to not be ordered. To say this is an example of something that looks ordered. It's almost it's almost like asking what in the ocean represents not an ocean existing. Did you not understand what I said? I don't know. Did you understand how I responded? I don't see how that's a response. Because because what you're asking is we want to know something, right? And and so. Would it be? Would it make sense to say, "Show me in the ocean"? Something we know what things. No, no. That represents we know, not we know, an ocean. We know what it would be for something to not look like an ocean, right? Because we know things that aren't like oceans, fish. and we know they don't look like oceans, right? So the same thing is going to hold in the case of design, right? We're going to want to know what it would look like for right. something to be undesigned, right? For us to be able to say, oh, well, when it looks like this, right, that that's exhibiting hallmarks of design. Right, and then what right. I'm saying. And when is, it looks like this, it isn't right. exhibiting hallmarks of design. Exactly. So I'm asking my point. you. Yes, yeah, so I'm asking so, you. What so would it look like? For, what would it yes. look like for something to not exhibit hallmarks of design? Right, and so well, one example of that is like uh, if you can imagine an earlier universe with uh, high entropy, for example. Well, that would not be conducive to life sustaining in this universe, and therefore, a, life, a, a world without life would be a world without a creator God, uh, intimately involved with uh, no, no, his creatures. No, that's just begging the question. Yeah. That's and just so, begging so, the question. Well, I don't think so. In a sense that yeah, uh, I'm the asking question you. Is what, what would represent not God? What evidence would re- what would be evidence? Uh, pointing could, toward could, could God, God design question, could correct? God design a low entropy universe? Yeah. Is he claiming that the early universe was not is not proof of God designing it? Wouldn't have that indication that God designed it? I'm saying I'm it? saying that it is. I think that's what he's saying. I'm saying that it is indication. Look, of is there design. something yes. that God is there something that God could not create? Uh, I hate to say this, but. Like a rock too heavy to lift? Well, what would that look like? Uh, it w- the point is, if everything, if God can create every kind of thing that we could observe, right, then I'm not understanding how something could be evidence that God designed it. You need to show that there's something that's at least unlikely for God to create. Well, I'll tell you what, Jack. Uh, this was a, a few weeks ago, and I remember praying. Uh, you had a discussion about a pebble or something like that, and I prayed that you would see a pebble and see God in that pebble, and that's still my prayer for you. Did you see a, did none you of see that a pebble with God in it? None of that is addressing the objection. <laughs> he, he prayed. Did you what? actually he pray that? Uh, will you will you pray for all of us, John, to see a pebble? You pray that, that Jack would see a pebble and like no God. That's correct. Now how? No, I, how that, I thought he said a how devil. That, how that happens is. Uh, <laughs> I, you you prayed you that you 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 prayed to God and asked him so that for Jack to know something he already knows. No, for for yeah, that's for, the other for, thing is he thinks I've already for seen the revelation I've already God. seen God in a pebble. To be recognized by, and acknowledged Wait, by you, Jack. You, your by prayers cannot influence pebble. God. So, He's so wait now, God. now. Oh, I got a question. So you prayed to God asking him for that. I did. Does Jack have an ex, 
Okay, so does Jack have an excuse for not seeing the god god in the pebble right now? Ooh. Well, it's not. It's not. It's not <laughs> Check me. It's not the case. It's, it's, oh, you're you're asking about uh, this time right here, right Is now. Is that smoke I smell? I don't look at it that. Yes. I don't look at yeah. it that way. Yes, I am asking about right here, right now. Does Jack? Yeah, well, does Jack? Does Jack I'm have an excuse? Does Jack? Does Jack have an excuse for not seeing God in the pebble right now? No, he does not. Because because my prayer does not involve a situation that you're inventing for right here, right now. My prayer involves a situation sometime in his lifetime, right? And so when when not 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 pebble one, two, three, four, five, it could be pebble two hundred thirty four. That 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 all of a sudden he sees God in this. So then so, if he, if Jack doesn't have an excuse, like what what's what are you what's the prayer for? You're asking him to I literally, doing what I you're doing. literally whether it's kinda of funny <laughs> or not. The, and it was a sincere prayer. Dear God, please do what you have already done and what we'll continue to do. And ignore this well, prayer already, if you want. No, well, he's already done, he's already done that as far yeah. as uh, all the things that are, you know, made, right? However, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes maybe it's an astronomer looking out into space. Maybe it's a marine biologist looking at something. Maybe it could be a geologist. Uh, you know, maybe it could be Jack on his bicycle. Uh, kicking a pebble or something, and 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 uh -oh. like an epiphany of sorts, you know? Who knows? Maybe Whatever. he'll hit a rock and fall off his bike and hit his head, and then he'll be. A Charles, you're hot, or Mikey. Or something like that, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's because of head injury. Yeah, okay. But uh, of course, I don't wish that on Jack. I mean, that's kind of strange. Uh, Unless yeah, it brings those him to Christ. Monkey paw things. You know? <laughs> well, I'll say this: whatever it takes. How about that? Mm. There you go. 